All right, that's enough. This story takes place in the punchy 30s, which some of you may remember followed the frenzied 20s. It was the golden era of pugilism. Club fighters fought like champs, and champs were national heroes. And some were neither. Me, I hung up my gloves. It was no skin off me. I have just been signed as a trainer by Jasper Jones, my old boss. A very sharp manager who owns a piece of this and a piece of that. But mainly now owns this new sensational heavyweight Wonder Boy Nick, who's also an ex-college football player. As for me, for very good money, I am hired to condition this boy way up to the world title. All right, now keep that left in his face. Forcing the action again. He throws two ripping rights to the head. Goes back with a left to the body, a right to the body, and a hard left to the jaw. Grasso is really taking a terrific beat. Up against the ropes now. Nick throws a short left jab, crosses with a hard right, and Grasso goes down. reigns supreme in next corner right above us here. That's all there is to it. Two minutes, 12 seconds of the fourth round. Winner by a knockout, Wonder Boy Nick. You know that makes his 11th straight victory in all by KOs. And that makes him the seventh ranking heavyweight in the world. This young college kid is really a crowd pleaser. And who knows, someday under Jasper Jones management, he may wind up taking the crown away from the champion. Well, that's all there is here at ringside. We return you now to our main studio. I sure polished him off. And neat, too. I like to see a good mechanic in the ring. I was hoping they'd stop it in the third. Well, the fourth was better. I mean, it gave the fans more fight. Hey, did I pull off that one, too, the way you showed me? Sure. I move you to the head of the class. Good. Anything else you want to teach me, just show me. Remember, I went to college. I pick up fast. You sure do. All right, boy. Into the shower. Well, your boy won. Your boy won. Well, you trained him, Farmer, and he won. Why don't you look happy? There's enough actors around the kid without me, especially that fatso grazzo. What an actor. He should be in the moving pictures. What do you mean by that, Craig? One of those water spectacles, like a trained seal. He takes such a beautiful dive. Why don't you stop blowing through that hole in your head? Maybe Grasso don't want to wind up selling pencils or washing windows. Maybe. Uh, you're punchy from all those lumps you took. And I always protected my eyes. I can still see. Then you saw our boy knock out Grasso. I saw our boy flick Grasso's whiskers with a right that was about as tough as a barber's brush. Now, look, Farmer. I'm paying you to train and handle Wonder Boy Nick. Good money, too. And a nibble off the purses as soon as we begin hitting the real paydays. This is the softest touch you ever had. It's soft, all right. And plenty ripe. If I want editorials, I can buy them for a dime from those sorehead sports writers. Sure. And if you don't want the job, if you'd rather watch okay, windows... Okay, okay. It's no skin off me. Wonder Boy Nick, superbly conditioned by that old contender, Farmer Watson, knocked out Jeff Grazzo in four rounds tonight. The final punch nearly tore his head off. That's more like it. And that's the way it's got to stay or I get me a new trainer. Okay. Now light up that baboon pussy of yours with a smile, because here comes my boy. Go ahead, farmer. Teach him plenty. Pretty soon we'll move into the top, right to the title. Well, that sounds just great. Don't forget, two weeks from tonight, you fight Benny Lamar in Chicago. That means you still got to keep in shape. You go to one movie with a girlfriend and report every day and every night to farmer. Now I got to leave you, boys. Remember, farmer, he's in your hands. Oh, uh, need a fuel? Yeah, I kind of overdrew. 
Take this. And you still get your share of the purse. All my fighters get an honest count. Right, Farmer? That's right. Even when the expenses ate up the purse. An honest count. Huh. Yeah, that's just what we need around here. A good clown. <laughs> He's a great character, that Jasper. Yeah, great. The way he snaps those orders, huh? He's the boss. He owns you. Well, that's a funny way to put it. That's the only way. He used to own me. Fighter's a commodity, like a side of beef. It's up to each manager to make his commodities so scarce and attractive. Fans will pay a million bucks to see him in action. A million bucks? Of course, I never had what you got. Well, yet you got to be a contender. I didn't have it. No color, no title shot. That's what Jasper promised me, the title. A quick million, if I do what he says. Well, and that's all there is to it. Except, of course, you got to take the title away from the champ. And I will someday. Jasper says so. With you training me the way I learn fast, Jasper, my manager, someday... Someday. Jasper says I got a great chance. And who knows better than Jasper? Darling, you're all right, you aren't hurt. Oh, well, then you saw the fight, huh? I closed my eyes a couple of times. It's pretty brutal. But you were wonderful. I guess I was. Ask the farmer. Almost <laughs> like Jasper says, Mary, all the world loves a champ. I watched the way you took care of him between rounds. It's wonderful the way you rub his neck and sweet talk him. Uh, a good trainer's sort of like a nursemaid. What do you tell him? Mainly to keep off the canvas. He, he didn't get hurt, did he? How could he get hurt? I mean, he's in condition, young. I know now with you in his corner, he's in great hands. Thanks, Mary. Come on, Farmer, have a drink with us. A soft drink. I want to relax. Tonight we're at a victory. I'm entitled to celebrate. They sure look good together. Mary would have looked good with anybody, even me. They were youngsters who knew dancing and fun and music from parties and school, things I knew nothing about. But that girl had more than looks. She had know-how and character and loyalty, and certainly more brains than the boy she was in love with. I couldn't help dreaming. Suppose I'd been in Nick's place. Come on, Farmer, you've neglected me all evening, so I'm asking you to finish. A dance? Yes, it's your party, too. You sure, be my guest. Oh, I always fought flat-footed to dance the same way. <laughs> oh, now, Farmer, you mustn't hurt Mary's feelings. Yeah, but I'm saving her feet. Dance, this is an order. You see, you're getting along fine. I got a pretty good teacher. <laughs> From what I hear, you're a pretty good teacher yourself. The best in the country. Well, a little bit I picked up the hard way. I want Nick to know everything, so he can protect himself. You really crazy about this guy? <laughs> I guess that's pretty clear. The simple and final is three short words. I love him. Guess I'm pretty dumb. I shouldn't have had to ask. You're not dumb, Farmer. You must have had a reason. Tell me. You know, I not only love him, I worry about him. You like having him in this racket? That's what he wants. He's chasing the dream. He thinks he can overtake him. How can I stop him? He's the man. He makes the decision. Let's get an old-fashioned wall. You still haven't answered my question. Do you want him in his racket? How do you vote? You do believe he can get to the top? I don't know, Mary. It's a long haul. It's gonna take a lot of lumps on the way. Right now, he's good-looking, got all his marbles. Ten fights from now, even if Jasper handpicks every opponent, he ain't gonna be the same. He ain't gonna look the same. I suppose you're right. I get nightmares thinking about that. Well, don't worry about it too much. Even if the house falls on him, he won't look as bad as I do. 
farmer. What are Nick's chances? For what? The title. Well, like we said, he's got a good build. He's a college athlete, six feet two. The toy bulldog was short and fought at 155 pounds. He killed giants. He's a conscientious trainer. He's always in sharp condition. Harry Grab never bothered to train, and he always did all right. Hey, where'd you pick up all his dope? Remember, I love Nick. If fighting's his career, I've got to know all about it. But first, I've got to know about his chances. Well, he's in good hands. They don't come any sharper than Jasper. He says that... I know. He told Nick there was a quick million for the man who could beat the champ. That's why Nick went into it. That's why I couldn't stop him if I tried. Then don't. But do you think he has a chance? Harry, I only train him. Well, the gym shoes and the liniment and the bandages and all the regulation equipment, I do not also carry a crystal ball. I couldn't sleep that night, so I spent a couple of hours with my scrapbook, a calendar of lumps, I call it. I think of all the beatings I took and gave and how quick the buzzards picked my purses clean. I'm also thinking of Mary and Nick mainly of Mary. And I know if I'd been lucky enough to have a girl like that love me, I would have done anything to keep her from worry. Most fighters are lonely guys. In the ring, they're alone. When they win, they can buy trainers, sparring partners, court jesters. But when they start to slip and the purses get lean, the friends fall away like leaves off a dead limb. How lucky that Nick had a girl like Mary. That's why I couldn't sleep. For sooner or later, if I wanted to face her, I might have to tell her the truth about Wonder Boy. Number 15 for Wonder Boy Nick. 15 knockouts in a row. You know, his opponents have been going down like pins in a bowling alley. But the big question now is, can he make it number 16? Time will tell. Well, that's all from ringside. Thanks very much for listening, and uh, we'll see you next week. Good night. You're staring at me. Nothing. Well, quit it. You're driving me crazy. There's Jasper. I'll bring him over. Did you see his eye? Close up. I had to press a silver dollar against it to cut the swelling. Don't worry about his eye. Even a great fighter like Nick's got to collect a few shiners. I'm not so much worried about that. I'm afraid for Nick. Why, well, he's going great. He's got dynamite in each fist. He's changed. Are you worried about the swelled eye or a swelled head? Farmer, look. N Nick was a sweet boy. Oh, a little conceited like a kid athlete, but, but really good and considerate. And now he's changed, and it's not his fault. Farmer, does Nick know what's really happening? What do you mean, what's really happening? Farmer, don't try to fool me. Nick's been getting an awful lot of cooperation in these knockouts. Maybe that eye wasn't in the script. Maybe he just couldn't get out of the way. Someday, when there's no script, Nick's gonna get killed. Doesn't he realize that? No. Nick 
Dick thinks it's all on the up and up. He thinks he's got a stranglehold on that title already. Well, we've got to tell him. You think he'll believe you? Look at him. Lapping up the glamour and publicity. The sucker's the last one to believe it. He's Mr. Big now. You, you could talk to Jasper. Jasper? He blueprinted this. Blueprinted Nick all the way to a title shot. This is his baby. Doesn't he realize that when that bubble breaks, it's going to kill Nick? And he doesn't care. Even the loser's end of a million dollar gate will buy a lot of cookies. Especially if you know the right way to bet it. Farmer, please tell him. Look, Mary. I had 132 fights in 10 years. All I got to show for it's a beat up face and a few clippings. Now I'm eating regular. Paying the rent, got folding money in my pocket. I feel safe and I like it that way. Jasper's got a big magazine writer with him. He's gonna do an article on me. He's gonna bring him around later to set up a time for the interview. I told you to stop looking at me like I was a freak. Sorry, Nick. It's just the eye. Look, if it doesn't bother me, why should it bother you? She can't help it, Nick. Every time you get hit, she feels a double. Now, what are you, some kind of a philosopher? You just train me and keep out of my private life. Maybe if I was conditioned right, nobody would lay a glove on me. Oh, well, Nick. After I get the title, you'll horn in on the reputation of training a champ. Well, that's pretty good for has-been, an old club fighter. Stop it, Nick. It's not only your eye. It's the way you've changed. The way you snap at people, the way nobody can talk to you. You fill the whole looking glass. There's no room for anybody else. I'll give it up before you become completely brutalized. If we knock off the lectures, you'll forget about the brutal part once you're married to me and help me spend my million. Oh, you know I don't want a penny of that. Dry up. What's this writer guy gonna think if he sees my girl crying? Can I get this through your head? This isn't Penny Annie's stuff. This is a big national magazine. The whole country's gonna see the spread. A day in the life of a contender, he's gonna call it. You know what I told him? He doesn't have to wait long. He can write another. A day in the life of a champ. Well, what do you want? You biting into next week's paycheck? No. I want you to let the Wonder Boy off the hook. Oh, you're just bringing me a laugh. Let Nick off. I finally get the hottest contender in the division. A crowd pleaser. A college athlete. What college? Well, who cares what college? What do you want to do, see his diploma? Look, why don't you let the kid off? For his own good, maybe even for the good of the game. Just once, Jasper, chalk up a right thing. Now, cut out the fiddle music. Since when do you go in for hearts and flowers? Instead of making me cry, teach the boy how to tie a man up in a clinch, how to protect himself from a butt, how to keep a thumb out of his eye. You used to get by on a left hook and an iron cage for his stomach. Well, work on a kid's left and on his stomach muscles. Well, you may be right. I may have a little trouble with this next guy he fights. This one don't care too much for the drink. Even if he finds two G's at the end of the dive. You mean Nick might really have to fight this one? Yeah. He may have to fight. If you don't want the job of training okay. him... Okay. For this, I'll train him. Now ah, you're talking like one of the family. Oh, by the way, Farmer, don't forget that magazine guy's coming up to do that article. You'll have to take care of him, because I'll be out of town. Hey, here's a tie for a present. Cost me 15 bucks. Thanks. It's too rich for my blood. If I wore that, honest people might think I was a fight manager. But I learned that what Jasper had told me was not so. The fix was in, Nick would win again, only to be faced with a bigger beating and a bigger heartbreak when he finally met the title test. Of course, all the time I was thinking of Mary. The way he snapped at her, the way she looked at me, and I wouldn't help. And today, I knew I had to do it. One, two, hold it. That's it. Well, we get some wonderful shots of the road work, Nick punching the bag and skipping the rope. As a finale, we'll let him kiss his girl. 
But first, we got to get a couple of good action pictures of Nick boxing. You'll get them. Farmer, get Joe. Joe's my sparring partner. He used to be fourth ranking contender about five years ago. Well, where is he? Well, Nick, you hit him so hard yesterday, he didn't come back. I did, huh? Well, well, look, we got to get somebody. Well, Jasper's away, and you know how he is about authority. I didn't want to take it on myself to hire somebody. Oh, wait a minute. We can't let Mr. Dugan down or the magazine. My fans, they want to spread on me. He came all the way down here for a layout. Well, I know. That's why I thought maybe just for the pictures, I'd put on the gloves and go a couple of rounds with you. Now, what do you mean, you? You're in no condition. You haven't fought in eight years. Nick, You're too darling, he's only trying to now, help. What are you butting in for? You could take it easy with me, Nick. You don't have to cut me up. Just don't sink any of your famous haymakers in my midsection. I can stay long enough for the boys to get some good shots of you pounding away. Okay. I'll take it easy on them and you'll get your pictures. Fine. Uh, you got a pair of trunks, Farmer? Well, so happens I have. The last time I wore them was when I fought Sailor Romay. What a pasting I took. Well, it may take a minute. I might have to let them out. I'll make it snappy, Farmer. Come on, Farmer, hurry up. Let's go. Come on. Let's go over there in the corner and get some good shots. Ready? I took his lead in the mouth, a long left hand, and I slipped inside with both hands to his body. I turned him around and belted him quick with a right. He looked surprised. Then I hit him a few more shots inside. Before he could get set, I drove him to the ropes and pinned him there. I gave him what none of his opponents gave him. Wonder Boy began to turn sick. He came back at me madder than I've ever seen him. He knew what I was up to, and he also realized that this was a fight for his reputation, his very life. I'll say one thing for the boy. He wasn't yellow. He stabbed straight and sharp with that left hand, sliced my lips inside my mouth. But I had to finish this job. I went after him and nearly broke him in half with a body hook. His face went white. I caught him coming off the ropes, and I pulled the trigger on my right hand. It exploded off my chest, and I saw the curtain come over Nicky's eyes. He'd never been hit like that before. This makes an even better story. We just changed the title. The last day in the life of a contender. Come on, big boy. Come on. I'm sorry, Mary. It's the only way I knew to do it. It hurt him. It hurt me. I didn't enjoy it too much myself. But I think it worked. Better now than later. He lost to you. But from the way I look at it, he won. Thank you. 